Hey guys, Lionfish Extermination Corporation. Boom, there's a little small one. And the next one's gonna be pretty big. But this video is gonna be for people who have a lot of questions about lionfish and why we are killing them here in Florida. Uh, this fish is a big one right here. And let's see what we got here. Hopefully we don't miss. Oh my God. Oh, ah, darn it. Hold on a minute. He doesn't have anywhere to go. Got him. Check out the size of this one. I actually put him up to my head here so you can see just how big he is. He's probably about 15 or so inches, maybe 16. Bigger than my head, I'd say. Wowza. So these fish are not native to this area of the world, and they are native to the Indo-Pacific. So that means anything from, basically anything from Asia down to Australia. Here's a pretty little girl loggerhead female she came up to see whether i was potential mate and she says oh geez you're just a human never mind but this fish is called the red lionfish or uh, the petroas volatans or the petroas miles forgive me if that wasn't the perfect pronunciation of that let's go for another one here in florida they have been released in our ecosystem due to uh, a careless fish owner uh, who got mad that they were eating all of their fish in their tank, but they didn't feel like they wanted to actually kill the fish because, it, you know, they, it, was, it was their friend. So they decided to let it go in the ocean, which is a horrible, horrible decision. The way we do things in the world now, having fruits and foods and everything from all over the world, it creates a very easy way for us to have invasive species. And some species that aren't from here are just fine in this environment because they don't pose a large threat. But the lionfish poses a huge threat because it mates like crazy. It's constantly uh, having babies, uh, laying eggs, and the eggs go up in the water column and you can't find them again. And then a lot of the eggs end up getting eaten or destroyed uh, by nature. But uh, some of them make more lionfish. So the less lionfish, the less uh, eggs and the less uh, lionfish come back and uh, keep persisting so this fish where it's from has tons and tons of predators here's a quick list of some predators first off we have the white tip reef shark and the gray reef shark and they hunt the reefs at night indiscriminately at in the darkness hunting anything that moves in packs so because they have competition to get the kill uh, it helps to push um, the killing of these lionfish, even if it pokes their face and it hurts them a little bit, they will still try to kill it because of the competition factor. Uh, and these fish, you know, they're, they're used to this lionfish and they're very uh, sporty and they, they like to hunt. So they will kill anything they come across, including any venomous fish. So it's pretty amazing. Puffer fish have a way to puff up so they can't actually physically get them even though they're poisonous. Now the lionfish is not poisonous, it is only venomous, which means as long as you're careful when you're collecting it and filleting it, you can clean it and then go ahead and eat it. Um, you can actually just clip off just the tips of the, the lionfish and then swallow it whole if you wanted because venom can be eaten with 99.99% of most people. It's just, you know, it's not something I recommend you do, uh, but it can be eaten, it's not poison, it's totally safe to eat. Um, but where it's from, I go diving there and I do not kill them because they are part of the ecosystem and they are kept in check by their predators. So along with those two sharks I just mentioned, you're gonna have other members of the lionfish family or the scorpion fish family in general. You're gonna have flatheads and different scorpion fish and you're gonna have bearded ghouls and uh, you're gonna have rockfish or stonefish, I should say. You're going to have uh, all kinds of different lionfish and different species of of other venomous fish that can eat lionfish at all stages of their life until they get really big and then other things like the sharks can eat them. You'll have a lot more different types of trumpet fish which can eat them over there. We have a couple trumpet fish but they didn't evolve alongside the lionfish so they're not as apt to eat them and they have to be a very small lionfish for this to happen because they have very small mouths in comparison to most fish. So the trumpet fish are, are very plentiful over there. The big one that eats them over there as well is a frogfish, and there are frogfish hidden all over the reef. Frogfish are super cool. Um, they can eat three or four lionfish in a, in a go. They can actually stalk the slow moving lionfish and be very successful at eating it. Uh, they'll, see, they'll see one, and to them, that's just a quick, easy bite. The venom doesn't seem to bother them that much, and they suck them down left and right. 
So that is another one of the predators over there that eats them. They also have eels over there that we don't have over here. So just the blanketed statement of eels and groupers eat them. No, they don't, not in our part of the world because they're different varieties. And they also didn't evolve alongside them. So you're not gonna see a lot of uh, eels eat them over here. They try and they get poked and then they give up. They say, whoa, that hurts way too much. So if you add up all of these different predators throughout the lifespan of the lionfish, they're going to be eaten and they're gonna have their uh, numbers in check. Over here, we have very few lionfish being eaten because we don't have the same types of fish. They are completely foreign to this area. They did not evolve here. They were never here in thousands and thousands and thousands of years. And they couldn't get here because of different barriers in the ocean. The ocean, basically a reef fish can't swim across the ocean because it lives on the reef and it eats fish on the reef. And at 2,000 feet deep where the lionfish can't go, there's no fish for them to eat anyway. So they're not able to get over here without human screw-ups like us dropping them in the ocean. So once they finally did drop them in the ocean, they are here and they are devastating the reef because they have no predators and they eat so much food. They can eat up to 100 fish in a day. They can eat 90% of their body weight every day. They usually don't eat quite that much, but all of their uh, victims don't even know they are a threat. So they're even easier prey items. If they had evolved alongside them, they might be a little, little bit more cautious. Not too much, but a little bit more. So the numbers of the lionfish are not being uh, dropped at all. So you have them giving birth to more lionfish, laying tons of eggs, and nothing to stop them. And they eat so much. So that is why they are invasive over here. Now people say, Nate, can't you just catch these and put them in the aquarium trade? The problem here is if you're worried about the death of one fish, then what difference does it make whether it's a lionfish or another fish that the lionfish is being fed? You're still losing a fish life, which if you're worried about that, it's sad both ways. So to keep lionfish in your tank, you're feeding them hundreds and hundreds of fish throughout, throughout the months and years that you have them, thousands of, of fish, and they're killing and killing and killing. Yes, that's more controlled and it's better than having them out on the ocean, but also it takes a long time to capture a lionfish and then sell it and it, it requires all kinds of tanks and different things that I don't have access to. So that's not feasible. Plus it's much quicker and easier just to stab them, put them in the bucket and then sell them for food. We sell them to a restaurant and then we even clean up the small ones and eat them as well. And then even the smaller ones end up giving to a nice lady who makes the soup out of them. Uh, so everything gets eaten and if all, even all the scraps get eaten by other fish. So everything is, is eaten. I see a lot of people on Instagram and TikTok and all these things killing everything and anything in the ocean. Just, you know, collecting all these fish to sell in aquariums, uh, which is, there's usually a death sentence uh, when you do that. A lot of these people also catch every type of fish that they can catch. Um, and sometimes they do it illegally, but either way, they're catching everything and they're trying to get as much profit and as much money as possible. We only catch lionfish, period. That's all we do, and we do it just to help the environment. We're not doing this to be rude, but people immediately jump to conclusions and put really nasty posts up here that, uh, you know, that's why I'm making these videos too, to let you guys know why this lionfish is so bad and that I'm trying to show you this beautiful ocean and we're trying to get rid of the lionfish so you can have a beautiful ocean and all these little fish aren't being constantly slaughtered by lionfish. So that is the long-winded explanation of why we kill these fish over here. When I go visit them in the South Pacific, I love just watching them and enjoying them. And I don't even mind watching them eat, but over here, they have to go as soon as possible. Look at that full container. That was 20 pounds in one dive, and then I had to put one on the stick. And look at that beautiful jellyfish. Well, thanks a lot, guys. I hope you learned something, and you can donate to Lionfish Extermination Corporation on my link. I really appreciate you guys. Let me know if there's any other comments, questions, or concerns. Like and share my video, and we will talk to you soon.